TikTok has taken the world by storm with its addictive short-form videos, but its meteoric rise has also brought it to the center of a geopolitical storm. The United States government has accused the Chinese-owned app of being a threat to national security, alleging that it could be used as a tool for spying on American users or spreading propaganda to a U.S. audience. With calls to ban the app in the U.S. gaining momentum, TikTok's future hangs in the balance. But is TikTok really the enemy it's made out to be? Or is it simply a victim of the growing tensions between the U.S. and China? The TikTok ban debate in the U.S. has been raging for some time. It all began in 2020 when President Trump's administration wanted to ban several Chinese apps, including TikTok and WeChat, citing national security concerns. However, the ban never went into effect and the matter was dropped until recently Senator Marco Rubio introduced new legislation that would block all transactions from any social media company in or under the influence of China, Russia, and a few other countries. The heart of the debate is over data and who can access it. The U.S. government is concerned that the Chinese government could track and store data on American citizens, posing a risk to national security. Despite TikTok's claims that they do not send data to Beijing, a spokesperson revealed that data was accessible by TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, in Beijing. In fact, TikTok allows certain employees located in various countries, including China, to remotely access European user data. But that's not even the tip of the iceberg. In a recent congressional testimony, TikTok's CEO tried to play dumb, pretending he had no idea that so many ByteDance employees were actually hardcore CCP members. Do you agree that TikTok is controlled by the CCP? No. Okay, I thought you'd say that. I disagree, as you thought I might say. Um, here's why I disagree. Your, your parent company is ByteDance, right? That's correct. That is correct. So, many of the workers work at ByteDance, they're Communist Party members, right? I, I wouldn't know. Well, ex well, I think, for example, the, the chief editor at ByteDance, Zhang Guping, is the Communist Party secretary, correct? He works on the Chinese business, not on TikTok. Right. He works for ByteDance. He works company. on the Chinese business. Right. The parent company of TikTok. There's more. A Forbes report exposed a close relationship between hundreds of ByteDance and TikTok employees with China's propaganda industry. Over 300 current employees at TikTok and its parent company ByteDance had previously worked for Chinese state media publications. And it gets even worse. 15 of those LinkedIn profiles showed that current ByteDance employees were concurrently employed by Chinese state media entities, including Xinhua News Agency, China Radio International, and China Global Television. These are the same news organizations that deny China's genocide of the Uyghur Muslim minority, calling reports fabricated false information. Despite TikTok's claims that they will relocate all U.S. user data to servers owned and operated by Oracle, an independent U.S. company, concerns about data access remain. The company's privacy policy states that it can share data with ByteDance, its parent company, which has close ties to the Chinese Communist Party. The issue goes even deeper, as researchers have found that the leadership in the Chinese version of TikTok called Douyin overlaps with ByteDance as its parent company. And with China's 2017 national intelligence law requiring all Chinese organizations and citizens to support, assist, and cooperate with national intelligence efforts, ByteDance and its employees who can access American data are required to keep secret any state intelligence work they know about. While the Chinese government appears to love the app, many are starting to question if TikTok is actually a weapon for corrupting the youth. China is known to think in terms of decades. The best way to corrupt a nation from within is to corrupt the young generation because kids are the future. And TikTok has become the perfect tool for this purpose. Kids spend over an hour and a half every day on the app, being fed a bunch of dumb stuff, and according to some critics, basically soft porn. Given the growing concerns about China's global dominance, TikTok has become a major target in the US, with debates raging on about whether or not the app should be banned. The outcome of this debate could have far-reaching consequences for data privacy, national security, 